Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to Life with 18 Cats, our Let's Chat Live. We are going to have a little change to the program today. Um, we're going to have a guest today, but um, with some scheduling conflicts and possibly some miscommunication, we've kind of um, shifted that a little bit. As you can tell, I'm just kicked back up here in the caddick, hanging out. Um, we're going to just... Uh, we're going to talk about some things today. We're just going to have a little let's chat, just like we did before. We always do. We're just going to have a let's chat. Um, I know I got a few things on my mind. I'm sure you guys got, you guys always have things to talk about. You guys are phenomenal when it comes to that. We can sit here all day and not lose, you know, lose things to talk about. So, yeah. So um, for those of you that were really looking forward to the interview today, we will have to figure out a way to reschedule things. But um, so I'm sorry for that. If you're disappointed, I'm really sorry. But um, yeah, we're gonna have some fun anyways. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. Life's too short to to just to, to just cancel things. I wasn't gonna cancel the live. I wasn't gonna cancel the let's chat because no matter what, I still want to hang out with you guys and and see you guys and chat with you guys and have some fun with you guys. So and I would never, I would never cancel on you guys. Come on, you guys know that. Doesn't matter. I'm still here. <laughs> Jenna, are you here? Hi, Kim. I am here. Yes, I I made it, thankfully. <laughs> yes, um, you did. Yeah, Always. I mean, you know, unfortunately things happen and I was a little bit, you know, I'm disappointed. Maybe, maybe yeah. she can still make it yeah. um at some point, but if not, we will try to reschedule and sure. you know, our apologies, but we're always here to have a good time. <laughs> Everybody knows we just kind of go with the flow around here. I mean, you guys got to understand. I mean, it's it's going to happen. You know, things are going to happen here and there. We've been really lucky so far that we've gotten everything has kind of gone off without a hitch every time we've planned something. But you know what? Life is life. We all know that life happens for everybody. So sometimes we're going to have to just like at the you know drop of a hat, we're going to have to wing it. And you know what? Thank goodness I can do that. <laughs> You know what, Kim? Like it's you know the guest. It was somebody with a disabled animal, yeah. so you never right. know what comes up. As you know, with animals yeah. that aren't disabled, you have yeah. your. This morning, you just told me what happened. What you woke oh. up to? Yeah, I was going to tell everybody about that. Yeah, let's sorry. Check, let's, let's check in first. That's <laughs> the chat first, and then we'll get into the gory details. You guys are going to just love this story. Yeah, just yeah. stay tuned for that. But let's check in with Chad. How's everybody doing? Take a break from the news. Listen, first of all, I love your name. Because I love, I think that's a great piece of advice sometimes. <laughs> Hello from Massachusetts. Hello, how are you doing? Wait a minute, MA, that's Massachusetts, right? I did that right? I believe that's so. Not, yeah, MA is Massachusetts. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I am so sorry. <laughs> Geography was not my major. I didn't have a major. Well, actually, I did because I went to college for a little while and I was actually in college for paralegal and that has nothing to do with states. So I apologize <laughs> if I'm wrong. Cat, of course, good morning from California, getting wet food bowls and my green tea ready. I should be back in time. All right. And we got Cammie checking in. Hello, Cammie. How you doing, hon? Deborah, hello, everyone. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> Gertrude, hi, everyone. Of course, with the pink waves. I love that. Oh, hi, Gertrude. <laughs> And Ken, hello, I'm still awake. Ken, Ken, oh my God. Oh, geez. We got to do something with you, Ken. And of course, Jenna checking in and saying happy Sunday to everyone. <laughs> Gertrude, hello to lovely Kim, the best twin ever. Oh, Gertrude, you're so sweet. Thank you so much for that. I Listen, it's an honor to be a twin with you. Mary Miles checking in. Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Yes, happy Sunday to you too, hon. And Carol, hello, I have 18 cats too. Isn't it fun, a labor of love? Really? That's so awesome. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. And it is a labor of love and it is a lot of fun. And Nanya, checking in with the pink hands. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Oh, thank you, Mary, for, for greeting people. That's so nice of you. I love that about you guys. You guys are so awesome to each other. 
cool cam. <laughs> Listen, I had a hoodie on. I had a hoodie on at the last second. I'm like, I can't. It's too hot. It's okay with me. Nice to see your smiling face. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you guys so much. I'm so, listen, and that's what I really, really love so much about this community is you guys are so awesome and you guys are so just supportive no matter what. Life happens. Exactly, Mary. Life happens and you never know what everybody's story is. So you know what? I mean, until I hear anything else, I mean, I'm going to assume that something came up in life, which happens for us too. So, I mean, yeah. Gertrude, that's life. It's all good. Oh, thank you, Gertrude. Thank you guys so much for being so understanding. I really appreciate it. Got back from urgent care, confirmed stress factor and a potential lower torn ligament. Got to go see ortho. Oh, no. Oh, I hope everything's okay. Please take care. Please take care for sure. And just be 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 careful. Deborah, just happy to see you and Jenna. That's all we really need. Oh, thank you so much, Deborah. See, I knew you guys would be okay. I knew you guys would be okay. I was like, you know, we got this. Hi, Kim, Jenna, and all your lovely fur babies. Greetings from a chilly northern island. I, God, you know... Every time I see your name, I'm always like, that'd be so cool to visit Ireland someday. It's I know, I know that everybody says how beautiful it is with the rolling green hills and stuff. It's gotta be just gorgeous. I think we have somebody else from northern oh northern Indiana. I saw oh, an eye. Yeah. I was like, is there two people from Northern Ireland? And I know at first I thought that's what that too. Hi everyone. It's wonderfully warm in northern Indiana. And you know what? And you're in Indiana. I'm in Missouri. And let me tell you, like I said, I had a hoodie on and I had to take it off because it, it's just so warm. I've got all the windows open, the front door is open with the screen door shut and everything. And it's so warm in this house right now that I'm just like, oh yeah. I would say hello to each person which I do in heart in my heart but lots to typing oh don't worry about it it's okay it's okay you guys are awesome everybody you know what listen this is what we do in this community when one person can't another one does we take care of each other we support each other that's what we do so if it's oh, hey, Cass. <laughs> you had to put my it. two cents in you know and help out <laughs> i love it yeah don't worry about it it's okay cat don't worry about it you know what you know what? Today, today, it's not, you know, it's somebody else going to do it today. And then next, another time when they can't, you're going to do it. And we'll all take turns. And that's what we do. Yeah. Uh, Cammy, I just was reading through chat over here, too, which is along with you there, Jenna. Uh, I have a trip to Romania in about two weeks. Perfect timing for this. <gasps> really? You have a you have a trip to Romania in two weeks. That's amazing. That's so cool. I mean, I don't know what you're going to Romania for, but, oh, that's got to be just exciting. And I know, perfect timing, but still, still try to make the best out of it. I mean, that's what we do, right? I mean, look what we're doing right now. We have a last-minute change of plans. We're making the best out of it. Just do your best. Do your best, but stay care stay safe and be careful. Just be careful. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So now that we've checked in, we've kind of caught up with chat. Um. I'm going to tell you about my nightmare story this morning. So this morning, and this, this goes along with just, this is life. Oh, Wanda's checking in. I just wanted to say, hi, Wanda. How are you doing? Um, just so Wanda, just to catch you up, we have a, had a last minute, last minute change of plans. So we are just winging it today and we are just doing a let's chat live with us. And we're just going to go wherever the day takes us today. And um, yeah, I'm about to tell you a nightmare story I had this morning. <clears throat> okay. So this is just life life in my house. Okay. So normally when I go to bed, I put Bagheera in the front room. So he's separated and he's safe and he's happy and whatever. Nobody bothers him. And here's one of the reasons why I do that. Because one of the struggles that we have in the house with Bagheera is if he's not separated, the other cat, it's not that the other cats. Okay. So I think he's gotten so used to being like terrorized by like Mittens and Oswald and whatnot that he's, uh, he's terrified to use any of the litter boxes, you know, unless he's in the front room by himself, right? So, um, so last night I made a decision. I was like, okay, the front room's open. He was, cr well, I put him in the front room. I went to lay down and he started crying. He was just screaming from in there. Like he wanted out. I'm like, okay, well, we'll give this a try tonight. We'll give this a try. We'll let him out and I'll let him be, you know, I'll let him like just be in the kitchen because he's got safe spaces in the kitchen. And I thought, we'll just give this a try. So this is all my own fault. This is all my own fault, what I woke up to. So I wake up this morning and I'm like, okay, everything went fine. Everything was good. I'm checking the counters, checking whatever, making sure that there's no accidents, no mishaps. 
I didn't, you know, I didn't get woke up anything. And let me just tell you, first of all, I didn't go to sleep until almost one o'clock this morning, which is if anybody, if you know me, you know that that is so absolutely out of character because my butt is usually sleeping by like 930. But I, I was having, and I know, Ken, I'm not trying to, I know that you've got it way worse right now. But just so you know, I'm struggling with some things of my own too with that because last night I just couldn't, I could not, I couldn't get my brain to shut off. And here's what I do. Cause this is all going to go hand in hand now. Okay. So I sleep with the TV on. Why? Because that TV sound and whatever keeps my brain from being able to think. And therefore I can fall asleep because I usually turn on things like, um, like I listen to Mr. Creepypasta. He's got a 24 hour stream. That's just a bunch, just all his um, narrated stories. And so, um, uh, so I usually turn that on because I've usually I've heard almost all of his stories. So it's not like I have to pay attention, but that's what I do to fall asleep. And even that last night, I couldn't, my brain would not stop. It was driving me nuts, but that's kind of the reason why I made the decision I made last night because I was so just having this insomnia attack that I was like, I was listening to Gira scream in the front room. I'm struggling to go to sleep. And I was just like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Gira, you can come out tonight because I can't listen to you do this tonight. I can't. Usually I can just turn it off and I can ignore it because he's not being injured. He's just whining. And I know what's best for him is to be up there where he's safe and sound and whatever. But last night I just couldn't. So I let him out, let him be in the kitchen, whatever. So I'm checking the kitchen to make sure there was no mishaps, no nothing, no trouble. And I don't see anything at first. Now you guys will see this video probably like Tuesday or Wednesday. But um, this morning, this morning, because it's Sunday, is change out all the litter boxes day. So I'm going through the house and I'm doing a change of the litter boxes with a video for you guys. So you guys will get that. Oh, Wanda, thank you so much, honey. Oh, my gosh. I'm so that's thank you. Um, I can't see who caught that, but um, whoever caught it. Congratulations. Thank you, Wanda. That was awesome of you. I appreciate that so much. And good luck to whoever catches it. Um, Kim, it looks like Gertrude caught that member. Did she? Yay, yeah. Gertrude. Thank you, All Wanda. Right. Thank you, Wanda. Thank you very much. So, oh, yeah, there she is with the green name now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Wanda. Look at that. And Gertrude, congratulations. My little twinsie. Wanda, how sweet. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so, um, so I'm, I was doing a video for you guys this morning with the, the change of the litter boxes and stuff. Another kind of a cleaning slash video on how I do the litter boxes and what I, what I do with the litter boxes and how it works. And as I'm getting ready to do this, as I'm setting up, I happen to glance over. Well, it wasn't without trauma, I guess, last night. It was a mistake on my part because I was being impatient. And... Uh, <laughs> What happened was Bagheera apparently couldn't get to a litter box. So what he did was he pooped on the chair on the kitchen, at the kitchen table, the back side of the chair. Well, his poop isn't that solid. So it's on the back of the chair, the seat of the chair, the wall, and the floor. And I looked at it and I was like, you know, I could get mad, but at the same time, I can't because it's my own dang fault. I knew that this was something that could happen. And, oh, uh, Cami, thank you so much. Just for Bagheera and you, was born in Romania, visiting family. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad you get to go do that. That's phenomenal. And thank you so much for the $5. That's so sweet of you. That's literally so sweet of you. Just my heart is just overflowing right now. Thank you very, very much. I really, really, truly appreciate that. I, I literally, listen, it, it's so weird because when you guys do something like that, because, you know, I don't. I don't require it. I don't expect you guys to do that stuff. But when you do, it literally just over just overwhelms my heart so much that I don't even know what to say. So the best I can do, thank you so much, Cammy. I really appreciate that. That was really nice of you. There, he said thank you. <laughs> but my point to the story is it's a nightmare situation because that's kind of one of the consequence behaviors that I have to deal with when it comes to my situation with Bagheera and Oswald and Mittens. Now, do they terrorize him every time? No. Mittens and Oswald spent the majority of the night in my room sleeping. Bagheera probably could have made it to the litter box and done just fine. The problem is, is that he is so used to, and I think it's been so ingrained in his brain that somebody is going to terrorize him at the litter box, that he doesn't even try to make it to the litter box, which I get. And again, I'm not mad at Gira. It's not his fault. It's my fault for keeping him out of the front room. And I know he felt bad because he was, he was still in the kitchen with me when I, when I found it and I grabbed the paper towel 
And you could tell because he kind of he kind of bowed down a little bit onto onto his back legs and kind of shrunk down. And it, like he was like, "Oh God, I did a bad thing." And I I picked him up and I hugged him and I cuddled him and I was like, "It's okay, honey. It's not your fault. It's okay. Mama's not mad. Don't worry." And he started purring, which is not something that Gira does very often. <clears throat> but um, but that I mean, it's not his fault. But that is a reality in my world. Is that you know when you have cats that that do not get along like these guys don't. That's what I mean by you make, you make accommodations and nobody's being injured. The worst thing that happens is that it's an inconvenience for me. Sometimes it's a, such a synonym for life. Wake up and there's shit to deal with. Gertrude. <laughs> you are my twin. I know. And I know Cammy, you're right. He's poor gear. I know. I felt so bad. I felt so bad. Poor baby. I felt so bad. I felt so bad for being for being impatient last night. I felt so bad for the fact that I had insomnia and didn't want to hear him crying. And oh God, I felt so bad. I was like, I knew it was a mistake when I did it, but I did it. And that's, you know, that's my consequence. And that's fine. I'm not mad about it. I get it. I, I understand, you know, what the situation is. So yeah. It's, the same thing uh, happens to me, Kim, yeah. with um, yeah. Lila, my senior cat, yeah. Lila. And Oliver, he's a young boy cat and he's rambunctious and she goes in the litter box and she's scratching or whatever and he's just staring at her or sometimes he goes to jump like he, you know, he wants to play and she's trying to yeah. do her business. It's, you know, yeah, nobody gets it's, hurt, but there's a mess sometimes. <laughs> yep. You no, know, there is a mess sometimes. And that's, that's kind of like, that's kind of what I, you know, one of the things it's one of the reasons why I get so annoyed with those. I mean, I've said this a million times, but I'm going to say it. Listen, if you guys get tired of hearing me say it, just tell me to shut up. It's one of the reasons why I get so annoyed with those, the Hollywood portrayals of these beautiful mansion houses with the perfect situation and the perfect cats and the perfectly pristine home. That's not real life. You guys, it's not. And I mean, like I said before, I have 18 cats too, and I have a few that don't get along. And I'm thinking about getting the feel, feel away diffuser. I hear from my vet that it calms and stops the fighting. I'm going to try it. Listen, and you know what? You try whatever you need to try for your house. I I will say this one too. I am not an expert on anybody else's cats. I'm an expert on my cats. Um, I can tell you in my experience, I have tried that and it doesn't work in my house. Now, now that being said, just so we're clear. I don't know if it's not working because it just doesn't work and it's like one of those snake oil kind of things, or if it's because the situation with Bagheera, Mittens, and Oswald is as such that that's not a solution in my home. So that being said, I just wanted to say, I have tried it. It doesn't work, but I don't know the reason why it doesn't work. So it might work in your house and I hope it does. You have to keep us, keep us posted and let me know. Cause if it does work in your house, I am so glad you know so what, happy. Kim? Um, yeah. Remember when I approached you with the same yeah. issue yeah. in regard to Lila and Oliver, who I was just speaking about? This might help uh, out our friend here in chat because I tried. I asked Kim the same thing. She gave me the same exact advice. I said, you know what? I'm going to try it. My cats yeah. might be different. Yep. Exactly. So I did try it and it didn't work either. So okay. that's and two Wanda fails. I mean. It seems to be a hit or miss thing. Yeah. And I mean, I, 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 I'm happy for whoever it works for because that's got to be a relief. And I'm all about that. I'm not here to like, to like discourage anybody from trying anything, try whatever you need to, to make your house work. Um, I really hope that it works for you because, you know, whatever makes the cat's lives easier and your life easier, I'm 100% behind. I wish it would work in my house. I wish that was such an easy fix, but it's just, yeah, it just doesn't work around here. It's like the cats are like, the hell is that? <laughs> They're like, you really think you're going to fool us with that? Nah. So, yeah, I, I even tried, um, they've got the, they've got the collars, the calming collars. I actually got called the calming collars for mittens and for Oswald and put them on them. Because I thought, well, maybe that will calm them down so they won't react the way they do and be at, be such bullies. Nope. Didn't phase them a bit. But yes, they're they're very individual. And yeah, it, you can't you, yeah, you can't know what anybody else's cat's gonna do. So you can kind of guesstimate, yes, but that's about the best you can do. Everybody's cats are different, everybody's cats are individuals, and everybody's situation is its own unique situation. So you kind of gotta do whatever you gotta do to make your situation work. So Here's my fingers crossed that the feel away, feel away solutions work, works for you. I really hope it does. But like I said, keep us posted. Let us know. Um, 
uh, Cammy says, I found Feel Away works to calm the cats in new environments. It didn't work to stop fighting and calming colors only worked with Sapphire. See, and that's what I mean. Everybody's got their own, um, got their own experience with these things. And you're right. See, and that's what I mean. I think maybe that stuff is, is for certain situations. And so in new environments, yes. So if you're like introducing a new cat, Gabapentin, yes, cat, I know that. Listen, um, here's the problem with the Gabapentin. I can't afford to buy um to buy a a prescription of gabapentin for two cats in my house for them to have be on a daily dose i can't and i'm not gonna and and i'm not listen don't take this wrong guys i'm not gonna medicate my cats to make them get along it's because it's not a situation that i can't handle right now like i said before if it was a situation where somebody's safety was in in jeopardy I would 100% either A, rehome one of the cats, or, listen, Ken, with Mittens and Oswald, every day is a stressful situation with them. <laughs> Anybody that's been around this channel long enough knows that Mittens on Oswald are a stressful situation. Um, I just, I'm not a fan of that. I've never been a fan of it. I wasn't a fan of it with my kids, and I'm not a fan of it Yeah. It calmed them for my moving, but not for the fighting. And that's what I mean. I, I think the feel up, feel away solutions thing is meant for, yes, calming, calming in certain situations. But I don't think it's meant to be a fix for bullying. I think that's a completely and totally different situation altogether. But again, I'm not an expert. I have never been to school for this. I've never had any formal training on this. I just know what works in my house. And I'm an expert here in this little in this box right here, you see, this is where I'm an expert in this box here. Y'all need to do what you need to do. And Scott, just, this is what I want you guys to do. Just share your information, share your experiences, share your, well, what's worked, what hasn't worked. Everybody, let's just do what we can to make our lives and our pets' lives better. That's the only thing I'm here for. I don't care about anything else in that situation. I just try to give kitties their space. Screen ports is a lifesaver. And, and you know what, um, Cam, you're right. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You just kind of got to you can you make arrangements. Either you make arrangements or you don't have pets. How about that? There's a hot take. Don't get pets if you're not willing to make sacrifices for yourself, you know, on your behalf in order to make their lives easier because that's that's what your job is, to make their lives easier. I agree, Kim. I don't like using psych meds for myself, let alone my cats. That's just my opinion. And it is, it is. It's a personal opinion. It's a personal opinion, guys. Listen, if it works for you guys, if you guys are are, are you know, are able to do that, that's told us that some cats just aren't going to get along with other cats and that sometimes separation is the only thing you can do. Thank you, Cammy. Thank you very much. Yes, that is exactly what I mean. You just said it better than I could. Sometimes I just can't make words work. WW Wells, yes. <laughs> You guys are awesome. You guys are so cool. Um, and once again, thank you guys for understanding that we had a change of plans today and whatever. So I was going to tell you guys, um, so I've, I've just been, you know, I've been in a mood the last couple days. Maybe it's, you know what? I know what it is, Jenna, is the eclipse. The eclipse did this. Oh, thank you. That explains, <laughs> that explains it for me too then. So there we go. That explains why we've both been uh, sideways. <laughs> I don't know what my thing is lately. Please tell me if anybody else has been going through this the last few days. But every and one already knows this because me and her had another one of our three hour conversations yesterday. But um, I've just been I've been in one of those moods the last few days where it's just like I don't want to talk to anybody because it's like everything everybody says I've been taking it personally and getting just absolutely butt hurt over everything. And I don't know what my problem is because that's not me. Anybody that everybody that's been around this channel knows that that is not me. I don't take things personally. I don't get butt hurt easily. I've just been like everything anybody says to me. I'm like. <laughs> But why do you hate me? What the hell is that all about? I don't get it. I don't know. It's been really weird. It's been so weird because I'm not that person. I'm usually not like that at all. And yeah, I've been like that for the last couple of days. So it's like, so I'm almost kind of glad. And this is this is one of those things where this is why I don't get all all like worked up when plans change because sometimes life knows what it's doing. And when I don't, and and maybe today was supposed to be changed because maybe today I just needed to be here with you guys and just talk and just have some friendly chatter and have this camaraderie and kind of get out of my own little funk. Maybe that's what today was supposed 
supposed to be and life knew it and life knows better than me. But yes, I like blaming it on the eclipse. Yep. And I've been sitting here crying today and I don't know why. Love you. And listen, usually I would say I'm so sorry, but, but you know what, listen, I'm going to, I'm going to empathize with you because literally, literally me the last couple days for no reason. And you guys can ask Wanda. Wanda will tell you. I sat on the phone with her yesterday, bawling. And it's not me. I don't do that stuff. Mary says, we are still getting solar flares too. It affects all of us. I've been scattered emotionally as well too. Okay. So it's really not just me. And I mean, I know that, you know, I don't get butt hurt easily, but last few days I've been full of it. Okay, Cammy, see, listen, I'm going to, let's blame the eclipse. Damn. It's eclipse. all of us. It's, it's all, all of us. us. I know. Him. I know. Me too. I thought it was because I was missing taking some of my happy pills. <laughs> okay. So you know what? Listen. Let's uh, suck it up, Kim. You're embarrassing your Gen X. <laughs> no, I know I'm I'm a bad Gen Xer right now. What is wrong with me? I know, I know. Listen, that's what me and that's one of the things me and Wanda were talking about being Gen X yesterday, and um, just we were having this whole conversation, and I'm like, we were we were the feral generation. Literally, we were talking about this in the live stream um on Friday, I think it was. You know, we're we're the we're the feral generation. We can we can get through anything. We can do anything. We we don't get butt hurt. You don't gotta wrap us in bubble wrap. And we don't need you know we don't need all that stuff. But God, I've been acting like just just a big baby the last couple of days. And I'm gonna say that about myself. I'm not saying y'all are being babies. You can have your opinion about whatever you're doing yourself. Me, I just feel like the biggest, just biggest cry baby the last few days it's been awful and i don't understand why because it's just not me what you see you guys i promise you what you see on here is what you get i am just this person some days are good some days are bad some people like me some people hate me but you're never gonna find somebody that goes eh, about me it's really cut or dry and people either like me or they don't there's really no in the middle with me and so for me to be like this the last couple of days has just been so odd. It really has. I'm so glad though that I'm not the only one. Not that I want you guys to be miserable, but I think uh, I think it helps each one of us to know that we're not alone in the struggle. Something in the air. <laughs> right, something in the air. We're going to blame it on the eclipse, the solar flares, all that stuff. I don't know the science behind any of that. I'm sure that there is. I mean, li listen. The moon has a, the moon's you know the moon has an effect on our tides and gravity and all that stuff. I have no doubt that scientifically the solar flares can totally affect us. It's a it's an energy thing. I get it. But um so I I but I don't know what I don't know what the science is behind that, but I think I'm I'm completely comfortable saying that that's what we're going to blame. Crying does help one feel so much better. You know, Cam, here's my problem, okay? And I know that that's true. It does make you feel better, but here's what I go through when I, when I actually, and even when I sit down and ball by myself and nobody else in the world knows it, after I'm done, I'm like, what the hell was that? Why did I just break down crying like a big sissy baby? And then I start beating myself up over it. Well, then that doesn't help. So it's like a vicious cycle. So that's why I'm just like, I'm just not going to cry. How about that? I'll just, I'll just, I'll be that person. I just won't cry. I know it cleanses the soul. I know, but then I feel like a big baby and I'm like, I'm so disappointed in myself for being the baby. I'm Gen X, damn it. <laughs> oh my God. You know, I wonder, and I know the guys, any guys that are in chat right now, you can go ahead and tune out on this one if you want to. I mean, I'm going to guess that all of us, all of us are kind of sitting in the same realm of an age group where we're either pre or current menopause. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess that we're all either experiencing it or just about to, which I mean, in reality, I guess that could, that could be why we're all experiencing the same things. Oh, I hope I'm catching up. <laughs> I could be catching up at 43, right? right? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I just wish, listen, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I just wish if that was going to happen, I wish it would just full fledge happen and just eliminate all the stupid things that come along with being a woman. Okay. I really wish I haven't been able to have kids since I was 25. I'm over this. 
I am over this. Pre, I'm in that. <laughs> and I think, yeah, you won't cry until you call me. Then the floodgates open. Wanda has got this thing. I don't know. Cam says I had a complete hysterectomy at 43. Did you really? Did you? So I got a question for you, Cam, if you don't mind. I mean, obviously we're all sharing here. You don't have to. Don't answer this if you don't want to. I am literally just throwing this out here because I'm seriously curious. Um, does that, because I don't know what the effects of the side effects of that, that are. Does that like, does that speed up the whole menopause thing or does it like stop it? How, what does that do to that process? I've always been curious about that because I've never had one. I mean, I don't know how that would affect it, but I'd be I'd be interested to know how that affects that whole process. But yes, Wanda has this way. Like I call her and I'm talking to her. We're talking about like the birds outside and the trees and the spring. And then I'm in tears and I'm telling her all these things that I don't want to say. And then I'm like, what is happening right now? It's like, she's like, I don't know if she's cast a spell on me that makes me just like say things I don't want to say and cry about things I don't want to cry about. Oh, yes, but I've been on hormones. Still am as I had osteoporosis at 45. Okay. Oh, that's right. So when you when you have a hysterectomy, you get you they put you on hormone medic, uh, replacement, basically therapy, right? If that I think I'm right about that. You know, what I thought was funny. It was when I was 25. I actually had my tubes tied the morning after my son was born. Because I knew I didn't want any more kids. I had a daughter. I had a son. Well, what else is there to get? Well, okay, never mind. I'm not going to get into that. Anyways, um, so I had a boy. I had a girl. And I was like, okay, I'm done. So the morning after he was born, I had my tubes tied. And I asked the doctor. I said, well, <clears throat> why are we just tying my tubes? Why can't we just do a hysterectomy? Because I don't need all that. And why would I want to go through that monthly thing every whatever. He's like, well, because if we do a hysterectomy, then you're going to have to have hormone, hormone replacement pills every day for the rest of your life. I'm like, mm. and the alternative, I'm okay with that. He's like, well, there's no medical necessity for the hysterectomy. So therefore a meta insurance won't cover it. Well, there's no medical necessity for my tubes being tied either, but medical is covering that. I listen. That's one of those things I will never understand why though that, why insurance will cover one, but not the other. Cause there's no medical necessity for either one of them. But whatever. So, yeah. So, I just had my tubes tied. So, I have, uh, yeah. But you need to get all those emotions out or else they'll eat at your soul. You know, Wanda, I know you're right. I know. I Listen, me and Wanda were talking about this yesterday. And I told her, I said, you know, it's because it, I'm so used to being the tough one, the strong one, the one that everybody looks to for strength, that it's like <clears throat> falling apart for me is like it not it's not an option for me. I know, I know that I should, I know, I know that I need to be good to myself. I know that I have to like, let myself cry and let myself do that. Whatever. Sometimes I know it's just, I think it's something that's been so ingrained in my brain for so long that it's like, now I'm like, no, I'm the, I'm the strong one. I'm the tough one. I don't need to cry. I'm fine. I mean, that's probably a lie. <laughs> Look at Wanda gets into chat and suddenly I'm saying things I don't want to say. Getting your hormones from your body is most effective until pre. Yeah. See, I think, <clears throat> I think maybe some of my problem right now is that whole situation. That, yeah. I mean, I'm going to blame it on everything except for the fact that I'm a big baby. <laughs> had surgery to repair fractured tip fibula, then sepsis in 2010, January had fractured humerus repaired with screws, plates, rotator cuff repairs. So my mental, so my mental mess is that in life, it's one thing or another. Wow. You're just like, you're two seconds from being like the $6 million man. You're going to be like, yeah. What the heck was he? $6 million. Man. Um, what was the other name? <laughs> God damn it. Oh my God. <laughs> my brain, my brain. What is the other name for the $6 million man? It was, um, I Come wish on, I God. knew. I wish I knew. No, no, you do. And as soon as you hear you hear it, you're gonna be like, oh, that's what you're talking about. What was the other name for him? Not just the six million dollar man, it was um the bionic man. Thank you. Oh yeah, there you yes, go. The bionic man. Da, da cat got in there right the cat and nunya. <laughs> yes, I think Cam is turning into the bionic woman. I believe so. I have two metal wall stints. In inferior vena cap. So did you, <laughs> I gotta ask this because I'm gonna be funny. So um, 
do you set off any alarms when you go to like the look through a metal detector? And I'm not, I'm not, that's not a joke. I'm serious. When you have like a bunch of metal replacements in your body and stuff, does that literally Lee majors? Yes. Gertrude. Thank you. Um, does it, does the metal like, cause I don't know what kind of metal they use. I don't know if it's a metal that actually affects that, but does it like affect, um, does it affect the metal detectors when you have to go through those, like say at the airport or something? Just curious. Serious. I've always wondered that. Like if you have like a metal rod in your leg or something or a metal plate in your head and you go through, go through a, nope. It's some kind of special metal. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Okay. And Lee mentioned, and here's your big foot. What can, what? <laughs> Listen, I don't know if that's true or not, but if it, even if it is, stop. <laughs> Bionic woman later on. Yes. Look it up. I listen. I will. I will. I'm not saying. Listen. I don't doubt you. Okay, Ken. I don't doubt anything you say because you are. You have just the weirdest, ex, like, like, amount of knowledge. Venture Brothers. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. No, I believe you. Like I said, Ken. I don't doubt anything you say. I think they use ones that don't cause that. My mom had all bones in her elbow broken, and she had plates and screws, and no issues with metal detectors at the airports. Okay. Cool. Okay. That's what I was wondering. I was always curious about that because I'm like, God, that's got to hold up, you know, airport security. If you got like a bunch of people going through there with all these things, they're like, got to wand everybody and find out what that's got to be difficult. But no, that makes sense that they would. I mean, I would, I would hope they'd use metal that didn't screw with metal detectors because God, that would make some people's jobs so difficult. Huh? Yeah. See that Jenna and we, and you know what? I told you we'd find things to talk about. We're talking about metal. Oh detectors. Yeah. I'm in the studio. I'm in the studio over here changing the, you know, the thumbnail out and stuff since obscure information can I love it. Yes. And can still even have an MRI. That was my next question. That was literally my next question cam was what was does it affect the MRIs because listen. There's um now this might be can maybe you know something on this because you're the one you're the font of like just obscure knowledge. Um I I I heard a rumor or at least a, somebody said this one time, um, that old style tattoos, like the older tattoos, people that got tattoos in like, say the 60s, 70s, whatever, there was a certain amount of like metal content in them. And people would have MRIs and it would like literally start pulling at that metal in the, in the tattoos and cause problems. Now, whether this is true or not, that's why I'm saying, I'm putting this out here, Ken, Maybe you have some inside knowledge on this. I don't know. But, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, they used to make, you know, they used to make um, ink with, you know, paint and stuff with lead in it. So, it's not beyond the realm of possibility, but I don't know if that's actually, like, one of those things that's actually true or just somebody said something. And somebody went, oh, let's run with it. Everyone is entitled to their feelings and their emotions. My therapist tells me that feelings aren't facts. You know what? And that's the thing. Feelings aren't facts. It's a feeling. Yeah. Can I post a link? Um, black ink has iron in it. Okay. So, th th okay. Then yeah, they do ask about tattoos with MRI. Okay. So that's not, it's not so far fetched. All right, cool. I told Jenna I was going to do this and then I wasn't just, was trying to decide if I was going to do it, but I'm going to do it. So this is how laid back I am today. I did not even shave under my arms today. Sure didn't. We're doing it. I can't with you, Jenna. <laughs> that was good timing, huh? That was good that was timing. Awesome timing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I knew what you were about to do because I was looking at <laughs> the other screen, you know, editing the studio, and I heard what you started to say, and I said, Oh, that's my cue. Oh my god, that's He's so doing funny. It. <laughs> oh my god, I am literally tearing up. That is so funny. Um, oh, to answer your question, Ken, I think I actually have links turned off in chat literally because of the kind of people that we get in here that I didn't need people doing links to bad videos when it came to animals and stuff. That's what was, that was my frame of, that was my thinking when I made that decision. So I don't think you can post a link in the chat. I mean, you can try to and see if it lets you, but I don't think, I don't think we allow that because like I said, I don't, didn't want no Luca Magnata's in here trying to post things on my chat where people are going to, um, you guys can approve the link. That's on Jenna's end. I don't know how to do that. 
I really don't. And I mean, and you got to remember, we're not, we're not doing this straight through YouTube right now. We're doing this through a third party deal. So I don't know how that works either. Or you can mod me and I can post it. That's not, I'm not modding. Anybody can, you know, yeah, why? I'll... A, I don't know how, and B, I Tell don't know. Tell to email it to the life yeah, with 18 cats at Gmail because yeah. I could take a look at the link. Yeah. If it's a safe link, I could probably share it, yeah. Um, you know, on yeah. our end here. You can't um, just, LOL. No, Ken, seriously, right now, right now, just, um, he said, give me the wrench. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, email it to Jenna right now real quick because she can go take a look at it. And if it's all good, then she'll, she can, she can actually put it in here because she does have the wrench. Listen, I don't trust nobody with the damn wrench, Ken. <laughs> I don't even, I barely, listen, me and Jenna had, Jenna, I made Jenna sign a contract and agree to like all kinds of weird things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before I gave it's her bad. Wrench. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. bad. It was like that's, a how, that's why I'm missing a finger, guys. That's why yeah, I'm missing, it is. A finger. You're missing a finger. And that's why <laughs> I, made her, I made her sacrifice a finger for it. Yeah. If you want to sacrifice a finger, Ken, we can trade a finger for a wrench. <laughs> That's so dark and so awful. I've been on several channels. Listen, it's it's not even that I don't trust you, Ken. It's really not. It's just that right now, and and I will keep that in mind actually because if you're still willing at some point, there might there's. I mean, I'm sure there's going to come a day where I actually am going to need more help. So if you're actually willing to do that at some point, I would love that. Um, we just we don't need the help right now. I don't need any more mods in here. Gertrude, your tramp stamp comment has me rolling. What did Gertrude say? Wait, wait, wait. Where did I miss something? What I gotta go back. You do what you're doing, Jenna. I'm gonna see what. So a patient with a tramp stamp would have their butt stuck to the MRI machine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Gertrude. Oh Jesus, that's so funny. I okay, he emailed the link, Jenna. Oh my god, that's so funny. Holy cow. Okay, I'll oh take a look god. just. Give me, you know, a few minutes. I've been modded on Discord for a long time. Had to, had to even sign NDAs. Listen, we're not that fancy around here. We're just not that. We're just not that busy. We're fine, you know, for right now. But yeah, no, Ken. Like I said, it's it's really not a matter of trusting someone or whatever. It's just I don't. I I've got we've got everything we need, whatever. But yeah, he's if she, yeah she'll go look at it and she can put it in here. So well, no, MythBuster busted the whole ink MRI myth. And I even got to talk to the mistress of metal herself. Oh, really? Really? Back in my MySpace days? Oh my God, MySpace. You guys remember MySpace? I remember MySpace. Everybody was friends with Tom. Yeah. Everybody, that was your first person. <laughs> yeah. YouTube changed link allowances at one time. They did allow it, but about a year ago or more ago, they changed the rules. Um, So here's the thing, Nanya. You can actually, um, you can actually allow links to be posted in your chat. I do know that I did go in there and I, I literally turned that feature off because like I said, I don't need no crazy lunatic Luca Magnata's getting in here and posting some link that my community is going to like click on and get brought to some dark web stuff that they don't need to be going to. Yeah. Kim, real, is that, yeah. I'm going to interrupt you because it has to do okay. with Ken's link. I don't know. I have to leave it up to you because it's, it's a, you know, it's an episode from Adult Swim, which is, is a televised program. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we can't. So I don't yes. know if you want to show that on the live. It's over no. a minute. It's just over a minute long. Okay. So, so I, can't, yeah, I can't show it. We don't it know the rules well right. enough. Yeah. Yeah. I can't, I can't show it. Um, but you can see you it. It's it in the email. Did you watch it? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I have some of the, I, I didn't have the sound on. Okay. The, no, the only reason the I'm email. asking you watch it, because I mean, I don't want to share it with people if it's going to be upsetting to anyone. But it's nothing upsetting, right? I mean, it's a cartoon. Like I said, I didn't watch, okay. I didn't watch the whole thing through. Once I saw what it was, I wanted to let you guys know first. So okay. if we couldn't play it on the live stream, then. I'm, I'm actually, I'm turning it down on my Oh, okay. Yeah, Jenna, if you want to put the link, if you want to copy the link and put it in the chat, you can. Okay, it's, great. It's, it's, yeah, it's just, it's a, it's just, um, it's, it's literally just a cartoon of the Lee Majors and, and Bigfoot thing. Yep. It is kind of funny. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you guys, if you guys want to go check out the link, well, yeah, Jenna can share it if she wants to. And yeah, it, it's actually kind of funny. 
Um, good thinking campaigns. <laughs> I wouldn't want people posting links either. Too many weird spammers. I know there's so many weird people out there, man. And the dark web is not a it's not a happy place. Obviously, it's the dark web, right? Yeah, because that episode came out right when I was in the car wreck and I had just an hang on, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ken. Ken, Ken, Ken. Um had just had an MRI for my spine and had back black ink tattoos. So, okay. So when, when that's how they sneak them out. Cause the army is looking for them. Cause they fell in love with the woods and rock fight. Jesus. Ken, you're hilarious. You really are. But yeah, like I said, I mean, back in the day, you know, paint had lead in it. There was what the, what are those girls called? The, what were those girls called? The, um, come on, Ken, help me out. The, uh, the lick the they lick the um oh my lord listen it's one of these days it's one of these days ken you know what i'm talking about the girls the girls that did the painting and they the they lick the oh god the radioactive girl or radio girl the <laughs> chicken heads what the Chicken heads, the link's up in the chat that you asked for, Kim. <laughs> okay, I know, but then he said chicken heads. No, I know. No, I'm calling you guys no. chicken heads. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ken. No, the, um, oh, God, what was that paint called? The girls, the radioactive paint that the girls used to paint the little clock. Listen, stop it, Ken. Kyle Hill just did a video on it not too long ago. There was... I don't remember what they were called, but yeah, never mind. Radium girls, thank you, thank you, Ken. I knew you knew. I just needed you to say it. I knew the word too. I just couldn't get it to come out of my. I couldn't get it to go from my brain to my mouth. Haven't heard that in a while, right? I love MySpace only for the aspect of being able to change the graphics and colors and the music. I know, Nanya, I miss that too. That was always fun. That was the really cool feature about um. Of also Victorian green wallpaper contained arsenic. Yeah, no, I know it did. It, it, it's weird how that stuff. That's why I wasn't sure about the tattoo thing because I'm like, if you got your tattoo back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, there's a good chance that yeah, there was enough, you know, enough metal, in, you know, contained in that that ink that possibly could, you know, cause a problem. I mean, I don't know. I'm not Kyle Hill. I don't know. Um, but yeah, as far as the MySpace thing, that was the really super cool thing about MySpace was that you could literally have your own, when somebody came to your page, you got to hear your, you know, your theme music and all that stuff. It was great. Ken, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We can't do that in here now. Come on. Behave. We can't. We can't. We can't. I understand that, but we can't. I mean, you can in there, but I can't. That also tastes sweet. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I mean, I've never, well, I probably did lick it when I was a kid because, you know, I grew up in that point in time. But it's not like I was sitting there eating paint chips. On, I don't think. No, I didn't. You lived under power lines, though. Mm. I know you're being serious. My thing is, is YouTube. Yeah. So kids would lick windows. That makes sense. I mean, it kind of does make sense. And like I said, I don't, I don't doubt anything you say. I get it. But I can't, I can't read that. I can't read that because YouTube things. Yeah. That specific word. Thank you, Nanya. Yeah, that, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I understand exactly what you're saying. I, I do. I get it. And I know that you're not trying to be mean or crude or anything like that. I understand what you're saying. I get it. I just can't repeat it. So that one word cut. <laughs> everybody's everybody's going to get on you now, Ken. Yeah. Everybody's going to come for you. Everybody be nice. We know what he, we know what he was trying to say. We're not. Listen, listen, I'm only, I'm only saying let's be nice because, listen, you can say ID. <laughs> I don't want to play this game anymore. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, listen, I don't always have the best way of putting things, so I, yeah. And I know, Ken, let's not, let's not, argue. I know, I know. I've said it in my, in my <laughs> listen, we all say things in private because we just say things in listen, you can't say those things, guys. You can't. <laughs> if I may continue, Roman Ken. Calm down. Just calm down, Ken. Um they use lead to sweeten their tea their wine, really. 
I didn't know that. I've said that word around my daughter. She's like, mama, you can't say that. I know. Listen, I know, huh? Seriously, it's M-H. I think that's the accepted term. I know, Wanda. I know. That's why I don't want to get into it. No, I know it's all true, Karen. I know. I get it. Like I said, I'm not saying it's not true. Nobody's saying it's not true. I just, listen, like I said, I can't say those things. I can't say those things on here because YouTube is not okay with those things. And I'm not going to go and make Mr. YouTube mad today. I got enough things. Could YouTube, could you imagine if Mr. YouTube yelled at me today? Oh my God. I'd have a meltdown with my freaking current condition. We all know that. Well, we know that now. Yeah. I know, Cam. My kids would be like, Mom, you can't say those things. I'm like, what do you mean? I find out real quickly from my kids when I can't say things. They're like, you can't say that. I'm like, why not? Mr. YouTube is very easily offended, just like me lately. So you know what? Could you imagine if Mr. YouTube yelled at me today? <gasps> I would literally go crawl into my bed and go back to sleep and just cry. Yeah. Yeah. As a special ed teacher, that word is a no-no, at least at my school. It's a no-no everywhere. And, and it's, you know what? Here's what. Here's the thing. I understand you'd be too upset to shave under my arms. I would never shave again, Gertrude. Um, it, the thing is, is we all can go to the dictionary and you can look up the meaning of that word. Okay. And you literally is a, such a benign thing. Okay. The problem is, is that society has given it a connotation that has now made it not acceptable, which I think is, and this is just my little dumb opinion. It's dumb. It really is. It's dumb that we can't say certain words that have legitimate meaning just because society has now, you know, inflamed it to a certain point. It's kind of stupid. It's kind of stupid. And I don't, I don't agree with that at all because, you know, listen, do you know that you can't even use that term when you're talking about flame resistant? It's flame resistant now. It's not fire that because you can't say that anymore. Now it's flame resistant. Because, yeah, because literally society has just put a, a connotation on that word that has just that kind of ruined it. And nobody can say it now. Thank you, Cam. I knew you'd agree with me. I knew I knew Cam. Okay, listen, there's a couple of you in here that are just like my diehards, and I love you guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I am not trying to offend anybody. I am not trying to say something that's going to get me in trouble. I'm just saying people just, listen. Yeah, no. Yeah, I know. I know about George. Yeah, George Carlin was great for them. Shell shock. I know. I know. It's, it's, listen. I don't make the rules, guys. I, 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 I don't make the rules. I just, um, I just have to abide by them sometimes. Yeah, that's all. You know, it sucks. It sucks because for those of us that aren't trying to say bad things, that are just trying to use the English language as it was intended, are now, are now getting in trouble for saying things because... We're not trying to be mean, but everybody else has taken it too far, and now we have to pay the price for it, and it sucks. I like that Carlin bit too, Ken. <laughs> I do. I saw the. I know, I know what he's I, talking I about. Yeah, I do. Well, I know. I've seen I never. It too. I never want to interrupt and be like, you know, just to make one little passing comment. But it's like, you know, that that it's clever, and I, there's a lot of merit to it. You know. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. No, George, Car jo listen, Deb, I, I agree with you. George Carlin was the best. He really was. Not in New York, Canada. It's mental health, intellectual and development disabilities, M-H-I-D-D, -D, just in case anyone is curious. Yeah, I know. I know. And I know, Ken. Ken, Ken, you got to calm down, man. Got to calm down. It's okay. And I know, I know what you're saying. And that this is what I'm talking about. It's and yeah, Cammy makes a good point. Things nowadays are overly sensitive to words and things being taken and used for the wrong reason. And then nobody can use them at all. And I get it. And you know what? I don't think they take into consideration people like Ken when they decide, oh, this is the classification. We're going to put it now. This is what you can say. And now you've got somebody like Ken who is literally saying, but that's not, no, that's not that, you know, I'm the one that's being, it's almost like victimizing people because Ken's like, but I'm not, you know, whatever. I think so, it's like yeah. a categorization and some people are going to be upset if you're yeah. calling them one thing and other people yeah. are going to be upset. Like I am disabled. I have multiple sclerosis, so I'm federally disabled, but I'm, am I disabled? No, I, I right. limited abled. I am very, right. you know, but right. I don't, you know, I don't 
pride right. myself on it. So I don't, I check off the box that says disabled, not thinking of the literal right. way it, it's, you know, exactly. what it literally means like, but thank you. Um, Jenna. So thank I think, you. I think I get Ken, I, I see where Ken's, you know, coming yeah. from, you know, yeah. with that. Exactly. And, you know, and, and Cam just jumped in and said, I'm on disability too, but I'm pretty sure that Cam's not going to say I, that she's disabled. There is no negative definition to the word cripple. It's in the Bible. Jesus healed the cripple. And I know, and that's, that's what I mean. It's, it's hard. It's hard because you can't please everyone all of the time. You can't. So then they have to make compromises and then everybody has to make that compromise. And it's like, geez, nobody can, nobody can do anything anymore without somebody getting upset. And that's coming from somebody who has been getting up. I got to shut up now. Cause I've been, I've been acting like that for the last couple of days. And you know what? This is why I think that this is why, this is why I go with the flow because like today I've been having, I've been, I've been literally that sissy baby the last couple of days where everything has just made me so butthurt. It's insane. And I've been acting just like what we're talking about, but now today was supposed to be one thing, but it got changed last minute and I didn't know why, but I'm not going to question it because life knows better than I do. Obviously, life's been doing this for a lot longer than I've been alive. So I think I'm just going to trust life knows what it's doing. Apparently, I needed to be in here today. I needed to be talking to you guys today. I needed to have this. I don't know if anybody else did, but I certainly did. Because I'm actually feeling a lot better now when we're talking about you know what we're talking about. Because all of a sudden, it's putting a lot of things in perspective for me. And I'm going, yeah, you know, I got to start. I, you know what? It's not that bad, Cam. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So, yeah. Stay well, Cam. Oh, that's so nice. You guys are awesome. 100%. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, this is what needed to happen today. So, as much as it's kind of, it kind of sucks that we had to change things last minute. At the same time, life puts you where light, where you need to be when you need to be there. And they put people that need to be in front of you, in front of you when they need to be in front of you there. So this is where I need to be. This is what I need to be doing. You guys are who I need to be talking to today. And I'm really, really grateful that life knows what it's doing when I don't. So yeah. <laughs> None yet. Filling out a job application online. Depression is listed under a disability. I have the option to answer that question, but I'm thinking, should I check that box? Oh, tiny fairy. Okay. Ken, come on. Come on. Let it go now, Ken, please. I, I'm just, I'm asking nicely. Please, please, please. Let's just, let's all have fun. Let's have fun. Yeah, I mean, I, words don't really like hurt me or categorize me. Like I have no problem saying that I am disabled because that's the language we use today. Like, you know, back in, if I lived in the eighties, maybe the yeah. common yeah. word was handicap yeah. or, you know, I think with, with time and generations, yeah. language changes too. So I it does. don't let it insult you, Ken, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, and John's checking in. Oh, Ken, you got to be nice. You got to be nice, Ken. Come on. Don't be like that. Greetings to all the kitties. Hi, John. So glad you're here. Welcome. We had a change of plan today. We're just kind of hanging out and doing what we need to do just because this is what life gave us today. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. So welcome. Thanks for being here, man. <clears throat> So anyways, like I said, life knew what I was doing today. I didn't know what I was doing today. I got up this morning and I had to clean up poop and <laughs> do litter boxes and make a video for you guys. And yeah. Yeah. So there's that. And then my plans today got changed and now we're here doing this because this is where I needed to be. I needed you guys. I needed you guys so much today. So thank you guys all for being here with us. I, I really appreciate it. And when I when I tell you guys, like I said before, I've told you guys this before, you know, you guys do more for me than you guys had, could ever, ever imagine, right? You guys do way more for me than you could ever imagine. That's why I'm, that's, Ken, that's why I'm asking, please, because, you know, just for me, please, just for me. For me, let's all get along. Let's all have some fun. Cause you know, like I said, I've been having I've I've been having a rough couple days. Okay. And I'm here because I need you guys. You guys literally do for me so many things that I I sometimes I can't do for myself. 
<clears throat> and I, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate it, how much I enjoy your company, how much I enjoy your conversations. Oh, I love you, Kim, Jen, and everyone, and all your fur buddies. Thank you, Cam. I appreciate it. Yeah. That's so nice of you guys. So yeah, we're uh, a little over an hour now, guys. I'm here. I'm here. You know, there was a, we had a little concern about whether we we're going to have anything to talk about red heart and I can't find the emoji YouTube freezing can not cat not eating sending love okay cat take care of what you got to take care of honey I hope everything turns out okay <clears throat> so yeah I just yeah, I was to... I was nervous I don't know I don't... why I was so nervous I was like oh no we have our guests if they can't you make it then what why? are we gonna talk about you know <laughs> You want to know why you were nervous, Jenna? Here's why you were nervous. I know why you were nervous because that's your job. Your yeah. job is to like make sure everything goes good. You're the you're no, that's the producer side of you, and I get it, and I I, I love that about you. You know, that's your job. Your job is to just <laughs> kind of go. Things need to go smoothly. Things need to go this way and whatever. And it's my job to sit back and go, Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Exactly. Well, you can wing it. That's, you know, we, and, and you know, that's what we, we, we don't have a choice sometimes. And that's just, that's yeah. not just here. That's just in life in general. So yeah. Kitties right. are a guy's best friend. John, listen, that is the coolest thing I've ever heard any guy say in my life. <laughs> Cause kitties are a girl. Well, at least this girl's best friend too. So I'm glad you agree. It's nice, you know, it's really nice to get some guys in here that say that because, you know, you got to, sometimes I wonder if there's any guys out there that actually feel the same way about him. I mean, I know there are, but they're ones that are like, you know, the like big YouTubers, like, um, oh God, like Chris and whatever. And it's like, they're not people that are in your everyday life, you know, just normal everyday guys that are in your world. It's like, I don't come across very men, very many guys that will say things like, you know, cats are awesome. Cats are my best friend. I love cats, blah, 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 blah. I don't run into them very often. So to hear, to see a guy say that, that's, listen, you are way cool in my book. I love it. My husband does. Cam, that's because you are one of the lucky ones. I say one of the lucky ones because Cammy also has, has a guy like that. He's a softie for kitties. I love that. You guys are so lucky to have that in your life. You really are. I, I love that. Excuse me, That's Kim. So yeah. Remember I was telling you about my neighbor who feeds, you know, the outdoor cats and the neighborhood yes. cats. It's it's a male neighbor. He loves oh, yeah. That's right. cats. And it's somebody I know in real life that's, you know, a friend that... Um, you know, we say we find people in, in the channel and in chat, but I actually and have Mr. one in real life outside of my oh, home. Hey cats. Yeah. Mr. Oh, hey, cats. He's the same way. Yep. Mr. Oh, hey, cats. Yep. Um, Where's my oh, hey, cats? Oh, hey, cats. He's, yeah, him. <laughs> I love him. He's 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 literally he's got a piece of my heart. I love him. One hundred percent. Me, too. Yes. His family. Yes, definitely. Um, my son has been crying for a week. He's 25 after Gizmo. Oh, honey. And you know what? I, I'm, I'm so sorry about Gizmo, sweetie. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I, my heart absolutely broke when you told us about that. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. I hope you're doing okay. I, I hope your son's okay. I hope you guys find some peace. I, like I've said many times, listen, I know from experience, it's never going to go away. It's not going to get, I mean, it, it's going to get easier to deal with because you learn how to just adjust your life to it, but it never gets easier, that pain, and it never actually goes away. And I know that. So please don't think that I'm ever saying that I hope, I hope you get over it. That's not, I don't want, I'm not asking you to get over it, but I really hope that you guys find some peace. I really do. I mean, I'm still, obviously you guys, you guys saw just a year and a half. I just now got rid of the last remaining physical item in the house from, you know, from Farah, you know, and she passed away over a year and a half ago. So I get it. I do. I totally get it. But I finally, I've finally been able to find some peace with that, which I'm really glad I did that video. I know a lot of people had a hard time with it and I get it. I get it. And just so you guys know, if I'm ever doing a live stream or I put out a video that's hard for you guys, if you guys have to skip it, trust me when I say this, okay, I understand. I don't ever expect you guys to sit through a video or a live stream that is too hard for you. Please don't. Just skip that video. Skip that live stream. Take care of what you got to take care of, which is you. And 
come find us in the next one. Okay. I get it. And I would rather see you guys take care of you than give me that view or that watch time. So please, please totally, uh, totally understand. I totally get it. If you guys have to skip something I'm doing because it's too heavy for you, I, I get it. And I don't ever want you guys to put your mental health in any kind of like harm's way just to give me a view or some watch time. That's not that important. So please know that you guys, I, I totally understand. And I'm not that person. I'm not that person at all. You take care of you first. Yes, you're right. I totally understand. Thanks, Kim. We get ashes tomorrow. And you know what? I hope that that, here's what happened. Here's what happened. Okay, so on the heels of what I just said, um, just possible trigger alert. Just be careful, guys. I'm just going to say something real quick. When, when Farrah passed away, it was hard. And it took two weeks to get her ashes back. In that two weeks, I had to try to heal to the point where I could actually function through a day without crying. And as soon as I got to that point, they called and said, hey, you can pick up her ashes. It started that whole process over for me. And it was horrible. I hated it. But at the same time, I know that I needed to go through it. Um, I needed to feel it and I needed to deal with it. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to disrespect her memory by not feeling it. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. Again, words, words are bad in my head sometimes. So I'm trying to put this in a way that makes sense so that nobody think. well, you're going to think I'm crazy, but that's okay. I'm a crazy cat lady. Um, but it was like, I felt like if I didn't cry, if I didn't just allow myself to be devastated over it, because I should be devastated over it. That is one of my babies. Of course I'm going to be devastated. It was like, I felt like stuffing those emotions about her was disrespecting her, her, her life and her her importance, I guess, if that makes sense. I think that's what I meant to say. Yeah. 100% Kim. 100%. Okay, I was, I was, ho I was hoping yeah. I wasn't losing that. Um, if you weren't that upset, then your relationship right. wasn't as special, you know, that there, you had you a know. very special bond yeah. with her and yeah. you had to go through it. It's, yeah. it's natural. And it's hard. Yeah. It's hard and it sucks. And we all know mm -hmm. that. I mean, I think, I think just about everybody in here can, can relate to that. Yeah. I still miss my childhood cat, Susie, and she passed in 2013. See, and you know, anybody that ever, that's what I'm afraid of with my son, Kim. It makes sense. I know. And honey, you know what? Like I said, it's going to hurt and it's going to hurt for a long, long time. I mean, look what I just, I mean, look what I, look how long I hung on. So it's like, I know, I know it hurts and there's nothing anybody can say or do to make that hurt any better for you. All we can all say is that we all understand and we get it. And we're here for you and we're all sending you know good vibes your way. And I know it's gonna be hard for your son and you, but just know that you're not alone. Okay, you're not alone, and it will get easier to deal with over time. And I'm sure you I'm not saying anything to you right now that you don't already know, I'm sure. And yes, Wanda, I was just about to go to that. Anybody that ever questions the strength of the human animal bond never lost an animal. I mean, really. I never feel bad about grieving over the loss of a beloved companion animal. And because, you know what, here's the thing. We're all friends. Yes, John. Thank you. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You know what? I can't, I can't express to you. And, and this leads me into something that I'm, you know, something that I'm, I am not putting this out there to try to say something that, you know, wish something to happen, obviously. But, you know, I've got Fleen sitting here next to me. And I was just talking to Jenna about this before stream. We all know Fleen's 15 years old. You know, she is. She's 15, guys. This is not a secret. We know, We all know what that means, okay? And it's not that she's slowing down because she's not. She's not slowing down at all. And she doesn't look like she's 15. You guys know that. However, when I pet her, when I pet her, it's starting to become very obvious that she's becoming frail. I mean, you can feel it when you pet her. She's not that robust, hearty, you know, cat that she once was. But she's 15. This is part of the process. And so it's it's upsetting. It really is. It's upsetting to watch the process happen. It's hard. But it's life. It really is. And the fact that I've had her for 15 years is, is I mean, that's an honor. It's, it's been an honor to have her and I hope she's around for another, I mean, I, I would be great if she could be around for another 15 years. Is that going to happen? You know what? In all honesty, that likeliness is pretty slim, 
but you know what? We're going to, we're going to go for as long as we possibly can. But yeah, it's hard when you start feeling your elderly cats and, and then you can feel that they're starting to get frail and they're not as robust as they used to be or whatever, even though she's not outwardly showing any signs of her, of her age at all. She's, she's getting older, you know, just like me. I'm not, I'm not as strong as I once was. I'm not the robust. I mean, I know these guns say something different. Right? Yeah. But I mean, let's be real. I'm for, I'm, 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 you know, I'm pushing 50 here. So it's like, we're not, we're not, we're not the spring chickens we once were. <laughs> None of us are. <laughs> oh, John, I'm so sorry. Yeah, exactly. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Hell, I cry when one of my older colonies go missing or passes and they don't even live with me. I know it's hard. It's hard. It's very hard. It's very hard. I lost a kitty to feline leukemia. John, that's horrible. Charlene, oh, I haven't seen your name in a while. How are you doing? It's so it's so nice to see you in here, honey. I'm so glad you're here. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for checking in, sweetie. I, it's nice to listen. I I don't forget you guys' names. Somebody said the other day, don't forget us when you get bigger. Listen, I'm not going to forget. Like Charlene here, I haven't seen Charlene's name in quite a while. And believe me, these things cross my mind here and there when I'm like, I haven't seen so-and-so in a while. I hope they're okay. And then, so thank you, Charlene, for jumping in here and just saying hi and just checking in real quick because that makes me feel better to know that you're still around and you're okay. <laughs> oh, look at look at the gun. I know. Mm. Guns, didn't know you were coming to a gun show today, did you guys? I'm kidding. What the hell is wrong with me? Why did people let, listen, why did anybody let me have a platform on here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I, I'm older. I can do these things. That's what I'm saying. Get that cat out of here. Get that cat out of here. Get that cat out of here. <laughs> Oh my god. Just get that crazy cat lady out of here, right? <laughs> yeah, get that crazy cat lady out of here. <laughs> no, we have fun, Kim. Oh, I'm teasing you. That's so funny. Oh my god. Like I said, you didn't know you were coming to a gun show today, huh? I want an orange kitten and a pug puppy. John, you know what? You do you, man. If you want an orange kitty and a pug puppy, you go get an orange kitty and a pug puppy and you live your best life. That's what I say. As long as you can take care of them. I mean, obviously. I'm sure you can, though. What? Well, hello, Doodlebug. What's that? What you doing, Doodles? Did you come to say hi? You want to come say hi? I think oh, Doodles hey, wants to say hi. <laughs> Doodlebug, would you like to come say hi? Come here. Come here, Doodle. Uh, I'm going to lean down and pick you up. Oh, there she is. There's that beautiful little Doodlebug. Look at her. Look at that little face. Look Hi, at this little doodle bug face. She's such a little doodle. Yes, she is. Are you a little doodle bug? You are. Hello, doodles. How are you doing? Are you doing good today? Mwah, I love you. Yay. Oh, so, on a day when we didn't know what we were going to do, I think we did pretty damn good. What do you think, guys? I think we did. Yeah. We're doing guys, it. Coffee Cat's here. Hi, Coffee Cat. How you doing, hon? <laughs> I'm so glad you made it in here. <laughs> um, so yeah. So anyways, I really needed this today, guys. So listen, when I say thank you, please know that I, from the bottom of my heart, you guys, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for just, you know, chatting with me and being what I, what I really needed today. So I don't know if anybody else in here just needed this, but I certainly did. And I'm, you know, Mary, your kitty must have been well loved. Yes, I know, huh? You guys are all awesome. You guys are so cool. Yeah, I love it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Thank you for being just what the doctor ordered for me. And um, I feel a lot better than I did. Yeah, oh, you did. Oh, Cammy, you needed this too. I hope you have a wonderful sleep tonight, Kim. You know what? I have a feeling... I have a feeling I just might. Yeah. Like I said, life has a way of doing things the way it needs to be done. And when you don't understand why life does things, you know, you can get upset. But um, but I think you're better off just sitting back and just going with the flow. Yeah. And just, just know that life knows what it's doing. I need some coffee. 
I am going to go refill mine as soon as I sign off of here. I don't know, Kim, but between the glamour shot yesterday and the guns, I did not put up a glamour shot. Wanda, stop that. And I am not going to that other platform. Stop it. You guys, listen, don't listen to Wanda. Wanda needs her meds. Yeah, Wanda, I said it. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, like I said, you know, life just don't, don't get, um, don't get upset when life changes plans for you, because you know what? It might not always be clear at the time, but eventually I think you might be able to look back at that situation, no matter how hard it might've been and realize that that situation needed to be exactly the way it was in order for other situations to happen later on. Cause I've found that in my life. Yeah, I have. Oswald is here to say hi. Oswald, tell him. Tell them, say thank you. Thank you for being here for my mommy today. Mommy has been having a rough couple days and she needed you guys. Yes, I did. I needed you guys. So thank you. And that includes you, Jenna. Okay, I can't see now. Thank you, Kim. And that's a great shot. I'm going to steal that screenshot. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank Oswald, you. for that. Yeah, Oswald, do you guys like that? They call it kitty love. I know. Oswald, listen, nobody wants to see your butt dude. Nobody wants to come here. Come here. You got to come over this way. There you go. There you go, buddy boy. There you go. Now you got your spot. There's his spot. Um, <laughs> check all of the member stream from yesterday, everyone. You'll understand what I mean. And I took my meds. Thank you. <laughs> I know he did turn to me and look at me like, what? Look at him. Look at this. Look at this little boy. Yeah, he's like, we've been trying to cheer mama up for a last couple of days and, and she's a bit because she's been very sad. Yeah, it's not that you guys can't cheer me up. It's just I know you guys understand. I know you guys don't expect me to be happy when I'm not happy. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. I am going to get out of here and go get some more coffee. You guys are amazing. You guys are phenomenal. You guys are exactly what the doctor ordered and exactly what I needed today. So, thank you, guys, for being here and turning, you know, just turning up like you always do. So, ow, ow. I don't got a hoodie on, so it hurts. All right. It's how we identify Kim. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. Say bye-bye, Oswald. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye, John. Thank you, guys. All right, you guys, have a good day. Make good choices. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>